Hello, this is Joey Keller, and this is the Marketing Automation Show. In this part, I'm going to focus on the queue management in Mautic 5. A bunch of things changed between Mautic 4 and 5, so I wanted to make a video that clears this up. This is the second part of a video series uh, where I'm explaining uh, how to set up email sending in Mautic 5. The first part was focusing on how to connect your Mautic to your SMTP provider, and this part is focusing on how to manage the sending of emails. I will also cover Cover some other topics like how the future uh, email sending, so scheduling in the future, uh, works inside Mautic because it's a little bit different than than any other uh, marketing automation tool. So I wanted to cover that once again. It's very similar to the one I covered in my Mautic 4 videos, but I think I made some you know new things as well, so it makes sense for you to watch. Um, this video also has a blog post part. I put it in the show notes. Please read it. I share their exact code pieces like scripts and everything. So if you would like to set up the cues, how I am mentioning it in this video, you can just check out that blog post as well. Thanks for watching. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the queue setup in Mautic 5. I will make some comparison to Mautic 4 so you understand what has changed and also give you a couple of recommendations how the queue could be set up and we will also talk about how email sending in general works in Mautic 5. Um, so what has changed in comparison to Mautic 4? Uh, in Mautic 4 we had uh, a queue that we were managing with, with cron jobs so there was an email send command which was managing the queue. In Mautic 5 we don't have that. We have a service running in the background, a, a little daemon, and that's taking care of the emails if we decide to send uh, send uh, by queue. In Mautic 4 we used to have a file queue, now we have a database queue. And in Mautic 4 the challenge was to send fast because the emails were going out really really slow. And in Mautic 5 we rather have to limit the speed or do different kinds of speed control measures in order to make sure we are complying with the maximum allowed sending speed uh, in our in our um, SMTP provider. Um, so this tutorial is not going to cover the setup itself. So I'm assuming that you watched my other tutorial about the email setup as well. If not, then I will link it to the show notes. Uh, there I'm covering the DSN, which is uh, the, the way how we set up the connection to the SMTP server or API uh, connection. I'm also covering the feedback loop there, so I'm assuming that you already set that up and you already tested your emails and they're actually going out. So if your emails are not going out at all, then this is not, your, not the right tutorial. Then go to the other one, which I'm uh, disclosing in the show notes. Anyway, it makes sense to subscribe to this channel because I'm coming up with new and new videos regarding Mautic 5. So if you want to learn more about how Mautic 5 works in general or learn more about marketing automation, then it makes sense for you to subscribe as well. So first, let's cover all the methods of email sending for in Mautic 5. So the, the different ways you can send out an email. Uh, and this is also very important because you need to understand when to set up a queue, what cron jobs are managing what. So if you have any trouble uh, sending out emails uh, on a larger scale, then you understand where to look. So one of the simplest way to send an email is a segment email. You go into channel emails, you create your email and click on the send button. When this progress bar fills up, your emails are being produced and sent out right away. I'm talking about now if you don't have any queue. So it just sent out as the email is produced, like as you see the progress bar filling up, the email is immediately going out. Another way is to send an email directly to a person. So you would open the person's profile inside Mautic 5, you would click on the send email button, and then the email goes out right away again. Another way to send out emails without a queue in Mautic 5 is if you schedule an email for future send, and I would like to cover this a little bit more because this is something which leading to a lot of confusions. Uh, people don't understand why so many contacts have pending messages. They're afraid that 
you know these messages will go out even if they don't want to so i would like to cover this in this video to make sure you understand how the future email sending like scheduled emails into the future in Maltic works so um if you make any email you create your own email on the right side on the right bar you see this option that an email is available available for use and activate at and deactivate that if you're using Mautic 5. Point, I don't know 3 4 probably this will be already changed but until then this is a super important thing so you should understand how it works so available to use is like a turn on and off button on a blender for example if it's not turned on it's not moving at all it's very similar here when this is not available for use then this email is not working it doesn't matter if you activate it in the future or deactivate uh, with the dates it's not gonna be uh, uh, active ever so it has to be turned on it has to be available to use uh, for use in order to uh, be able in, in order to send out uh, this email uh, we'll start sending from that's the activate at date and we'll finish sending to newly joined contacts it's the deactivated so I would like to explain you a little bit what does it actually mean so in most software it's like this that you want to send out an email in the future you set a future date and then let's say tomorrow my email goes out in Maltic it's a little bit different let's say this is the timeline here you see these two green green points here so this and this are people joining my list and these five here are also new contacts joining my list when I send out the newsletter at this point of the time then these two people will get the email anyone new joins they will not get the email this is like in most of the newsletter systems is like this so you send out emails to people on your list at the moment when you're sending something out so in, this is resulting in a, something in Mautic as well which looks like this that at this point of the time you send out the newsletter you see at this point then five new people joined two already got the email you would see something like this five pending two sent this is very important if you just sent out a newsletter without specifying the date when it should be sent out so you just push the button then you will see that this five five pending appears once the five people join because they are eligible to get the email but right now there is no active send to them because you push the button in the past and then in the future you know this email is not going out anymore once it's sent out it's done and we also see here that two are sent yeah these two people got the email five never received it so if you send out a lot of emails then you will see something like this that you know your email was sent out to 11,000 people but let's say 57 pending or 75 pending or 895 pending what are these numbers and who are these people yeah the, these are the people who joined your segment after you sent out the email and there was no more active sent to these people so once they they joined when they joined the, the, this email was already sent in the post so in order to send for in the future in Mautic you need to activate a sending window so you need to open that sending window and close it let me tell you one example how that would look like so same timeline these two people joined this is when we start the sending so here I would write that date and then the email would be sending continuously which means every time someone is joining in that moment they would receive that email this is why it's super important to close that sending window not that you know email one is being continuously sent then you set up email to also send you set up 100 emails and after if someone new joins would get this 100 emails right away because they're eligible to receive all those emails they're a member of the segment which is supposed to receive this email so you have to close that window it's super important and therefore we have different statuses we have the status this here the top one is is uh, scheduled this is an email which will be sent in the future this one is being is sent right now it's being sent right now continuously and the last one is already closed so new newly uh, joined contacts for that specific segment will not get this email anymore so let's have a concrete example we have here uh, a uh, black friday example we start sending it out on 22nd this offer is valid on the 22nd so this is when we make our initial initial send and we would like to have this email being sent until 29th which is the black friday date 
So in our setting, we would set up 22nd of November, 2024, and it would be going until the end of the day. So anyone, for example, someone joining on 26th, they would still get the email freshly joined. This offer is valid and they would get the email. So on the 16th, if you set up this, uh, this newsletter, let's say 1st of November, on the 16th, it would be like scheduled for future send status during the campaign days it would be green and otherwise it would be expired so no longer sent for newly added contacts uh, i'm going to talk to you about this how uh, this um, this uh, emails are picked up by modic it's a cron job we're going to discuss that a little bit later but this was very important that you understand what these different statuses are these are all connected to the future sense so this is the scheduled email for the future it's a way of sending email in modic Another way is uh, campaigns. So with campaign steps, you can also send out uh, emails in Maltic that's uh, managed by the campaign trigger uh, cron job. You can also send emails by form send action. So if someone does something to the form, then an email is being sent to them or to the owner of that form or owner of the contact. So altogether, these are the ways if we are not using Q and we are sending a segment manually, then as the progress bar fills up, the email goes out right away. There is no queue, just goes out as the progress bar filled up. With the scheduled segment email, you need this multi broadcast send uh, cron, cron uh, command in the, in the background. You need this to be running in order to pick up a future dates or check if some new is eligible to get this email. Campaign emails are done with the Maltic campaign trigger, scheduled reports with the Maltic report scheduler. And if you have a form email or direct email, those are immediately sent out once the action happened. So someone fills out the form, the email goes out. So if we want to queue this up because we have a large amount of emails or we want to send slow or any other reason we would like to control the flow of emails we would like to use a queue and in Mautic 5 it has completely changed in Mautic 4 we were using a send email uh, cron job which was just like all the others but in Mautic 5 it's a more developed it's a lot better system we're using a, a, a background service or daemon um for this purpose so all the different ways how you are able to send email in Maltic will result to email to be pushed into a queue and this is a database queue that's the difference in comparison to Maltic 5 because in in 4 we used to have a file queue so you would have like a bunch of files being uh pushed into the var spool folder but now it's in the database it makes it a lot faster so if you have the queue set up, and I'm going to show you in a moment how, if you have the queue set up, your uh, your uh, Maltic will automatically push, push the new mails in the queue. And the background service, this daemon, will be responsible for pushing out those emails from the queue um, to the open internet and actually to your SMTP server. The queue has to be set up in the settings. So if you go to your configuration queue settings, then by the queue for email, you would see sync. And that means it's going out immediately, synchronously. So we have to change that to doctrine and the host should be default. That's the only setting you have to do. And from this moment on, your emails will be sent out via uh, the, the database queue. There are different ways uh, you can um, send out emails uh, in queue. You don't have to use the database. You can use Redis or RabbitMQ. Queue, but this is the most simple configuration um, regarding to queue, messaging, queue, queue services. I will make another video. But this is, this is something what you can already start with without installing anything special. So the queue itself is consumed by a new um, function in in Maltic or and also in the underlying system which is Symfony and you're not saying you're sending emails you are consuming <laughs> the transport so 
we have to use the command called messenger consume email in order to send it out and we can do this with the persistent daemon service or cron tab cycles what does it really mean so let me explain it to you let's start with the cron tab because you probably know it if you're coming from Mautic 4 this is something similar uh what we use there let's say you can run it every minute just the difference is that if you in comparison to Mautic 4 the difference is if you are running this command messenger consume email it will be running without an end um, in Mautic 4 it was like you know the the the, the script checked the, the spool folder and checked hey is there an email if there is no email I have nothing else to do and the script finished this one is not like that it's all the time watching for an email so it's running without an end you actually have to put an end in it and to it if you would like to run it in a cron tab uh, in a cron tab uh, cycles um, I recommend to run it every minute with a time limit of 50 seconds this is the setting for it so you do messenger consume email time limit 50 so it's gonna run every 15 minutes 15 seconds and then if you time your cron tab every minute then it will restart after every minute and there is like a 10 second waiting period you don't have to have that you can have like five seconds or about one second at the end it, it depends on your system I like to have 10 seconds there so if you run this command it will take out the messages from the from the message queue table in the database and push it out to your SMTP as fast as possible so you can limit the speed uh, as you're consuming the email we're going to talk about that a little bit later as well the other way to push out the messages is through the daemon uh, service so you can create a service inside Modic. This is a little bit more complicated. It didn't fit on this slide. So I have a corresponding blog post uh, on my website. So come to my website and check it out. There I'm explaining step by step, command by command, how you can do that. But this is like basically a, like a cron, you know, something running in the background uh, and uh, continuously uh, running this one command, which is consuming the emails. And if it's killed or stopped, then it automatically restarts. Now, these two ways, this one and the Chrome tab example, both of them will send out the email as fast as possible. If you have a very powerful system and a very slow SMTP, this is going to cause problems for you because you will send emails faster than the SMTP would like to process them. So either you will put on some kind of ban list or uh, they're just going to lose a couple of your messages or they're going to block you. So you should make sure that you are not sending faster than your SMTP provider likes that. In my other video where I'm talking about the email setup, I'm also addressing this, that there are ways to manage this directly from the settings, SMTP settings. But if you cannot do that for some reason, then you, you can manage this through a, a combination of scripts. So you have to time your cron tab in a way that you're running your scripts according to the limits allowed by your SMTP partner. For example, you can send an email not more often than every 10 seconds if you want to send slowly, for example, six per minute. Or you can set a message limit like email limit of 100 per hour. This is again with a combination of scripts or you would like to comply with the warm-up schedule which means today i'm sending this speed and i would like to increase it with time i cannot all push this this information into this uh, short tutorial so you should go to my website there is a there is a, a tutorial there a course uh, what you can try and i call it the q mastery and there you can learn how to exactly time your emails but if you have like a amazon ses server or you don't have a super powerful server which would send faster which would send emails faster than your smtp accepts then you should be fine with the cron tab example or the daemon example you can also find scripts on the modic forums but if you just want to have you know, a little hand-holding, come to my website and check out the Q Mastery course. Mm -hmm.